I'm Chris Jorney, aka Mr. Science from Tree Frog Treks. And I've got a wild science experiment for you. The baking soda goes straight through the alcohol, it hits the baking soda, and we've got a bubbling, fast and furious lava lamp. Let's make a bubbling lava lamp that's fast and furious. We've got our test tube. We're going to use a little bit of the oil. And this is going to be the basis of our lava lamp, allowing us to see the gas bubbles bubbling up through. Then the chemicals that we're going to use to react are vinegar or acetic acid, which is going to react with the baking soda and make bubbles through the oil. Let's go ahead and make the flag a red, white, and blue flag. So here's our red at the bottom. Oh, actually, red, white, and blue. Let's put the blue on the bottom. <whistles> boom, 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 boom. So the blue is going through the oil because it's oil and the food coloring is water-based, it won't mix. It's going to blow up soon enough in the vinegar. Let's put something less dense on the top, which is some rubbing alcohol. Now if we pour it in nice and slow, it'll stay right on the top of our lava lamp. Let's go ahead and we'll dye this one red for our red, white, and blue bubbling lava lamp. Now what do we need to get it started? A little pinch of baking soda. Here we go. The baking soda goes straight through the alcohol. It hits the baking soda and we've got a bubbling fast and furious lava lamp. Now as it starts to settle down, we're going to get to see the bubbles move around. Let's even add a little bit more. It settles down. And here we go, our fast and furious lava lamp. And you can recharge it too with a little bit more baking soda and vinegar. I put in the baking soda already. Here's a little bit more vinegar. If there's still leftover baking soda, it'll react. And we still got quite a bit of activity going on in there. There's our oil bubbling through in the bottom. Our fast and furious bubbling lava lamp. Boom!